Greetings, everyone. Uh, how are you? I hope all is well. My name is Jamar Moda. Okay, so after reading the materials assigned this week and watching the video, Meaningful Differences in the Everyday Experience of a Young American Children, I can say that I gained a surplus of information upon what I already knew. Now, I would like to go ahead and touch on the first category that's within assignment, and that's excitements. I can say what excited me about this information is that I love learning about Head Start because I am so proud of the actual program. Uh, to be more specific on what I mean about that, early Head Start stemmed out of the Head Start program. And this is a two generational program that provides high quality um, services uh, to women and children that are low income. And it gives back. That's one thing I admire about it. It gives back and it fosters a positive relationship between mother and child. Mm, worries. I'm not really worried about anything, but more uh, inquisitive. I wanted to know because I understand that Head Start is funded by the government, so it's federally funded. But I want to know exactly what are their budgets. Is there a way people um, can donate so that they can have more to do more? You know, it's always a blessing to bless others. That's what I wanted to know about. Now, um, to touch on, because I touched on worries. I said I'm not worried about anything, and I touched on needs. I wanted to know as far as budgeting, as far as the business aspect of the Head Start program, uh, my suggestions, uh, I noticed that the Head Start is from like infants, toddlers to age three. I wanted to know if Head Start can follow them from ages three to fifth grade. The reason why I'm asking this question is because I'm a para three and I work in an inner city school and a majority of uh, the school environment are in poverty. And I see a lot of the students that go to the school, they have to withdraw simply because the parents are losing their homes and they're becoming homeless. And they end up going to either a family member or a friend. And the minute there's an argument or a situation, they're thrown out and homeless again and they're sent to homestead. And this situation is so sad. I wanted to know if Head Start can actually go throughout at least fifth grade because you know your elementary school is is the foundation you know and it's so sensitive to have to jump from home to home and school to school when you're learning and you get used to a classroom environment and you get used to friends and seeing familiar faces and all of a sudden it's it's abrupt you know it's a it's a painstaking um, situation to notice to actually come across so I wanted to know how Head Start can um, link with Miami-Dade County Public Schools on this situation to see about following our children because one thing I noticed okay if they're low income and the child is three years old unless the parent get up on their feet they're gonna be low income throughout K through five, you know, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that they can't be blessed, you know, because what I notice is not always the lack of resources as far as money is concerned. It's the lack of ideas. It's the lack of determination. It's the lack of confidence. It's the lack of time and lack of help as far as assistance and giving out a hand. And one thing I, I, I learned even in the word says my people are destroyed by the lack of knowledge. There's tons of resources that Miami-Dade County Public School gives. And the thing is the parents don't know. And I hear a lot of people say, okay, they don't know because they don't try to know. The thing is, it's different from being computer literate and knowing how to 
go out and get things and get informed than being afraid and say, okay, well, I tried this way and this way didn't work. You know what? I'm just going to shut myself in. How can we really reach out to those parents past, you know, a certain time frame and extend it to give them a little more leverage? I wanted to know if that's possible. And that's it. Um, I learned a surplus so far from the classroom. You know, a lot of things that I'm reading, like for literacy and facial expressions and molding the child, I'm like, I didn't know that there were names to that. You know, don't get me wrong. I um, I don't have no children of my own, but I help to raise my baby nephew and I work with so many kids. So it's like I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I, I'm already doing it, but I never understood that there was a name and steps for it, you know. <laughs> well, I hope you like my uh, video. Thank you. Um, um for watching and please give positive feedback and go ahead and give me constructive criticism it's well needed thank you